hello, I'm live again. So it's like, you're um, sick of seeing me. Away a little bit it's all Stop it, please, Ali. Much. Shush now, um, Ali. And then you've got the hanged man. Shush is. now, Ali. We've heard all that before. Now, come on. Thinking she's completely lost it. Shush now. And then See, doing it again. Shush, shush now. now. Really? <laughs> On and on and on that woman goes. Crikey. Um, Greg laughs when I say crikey, because they don't say crikey out there. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Gordon Bennett. I don't even know where that comes from. Where does that come from? Can anyone tell me where Gordon Bennett comes from? Gordon Bennett. Um, all right, let's have a look and see who's around. Probably not many people. Um, well, it's well, it's quarter to eight, I suppose, in USA. Or I've just seen something come up. Jennifer Car uh, Carpenter just found out my dad's health is really bad. Please, can you help me do a prayer chain? I'm really scared. I may lose him soon. Okay, we're, we're sending prayers out um, to your dad. Okay. So if anybody can send some prayers out to Jennifer Carpenter's um, dad, please. The universe will know who it is. Um, so who's about? Okay, so uh, Sharon, hi. Um, so Sharon Beck and Sharon Poe. Hello again. Um, so hi, lovely. Hope you're well. I'm so sad right now. I lost my mum. Expected a few weeks ago. Yes, so you're the lady that we we sent out lots of um, love to you. Um, so so sorry about that. That's horrible. Um, I was I was saying earlier, I would be absolutely devastated. Um, so I can't even imagine what you're going through. Um, I don't want to imagine what you're going through. It's just the most awful thing. Um, I'm really close to my mum so that would just be terrible so I do feel for you um I'm so sorry um a lot of people are losing people some people are um choosing to what we say go home um and help from the other side some because there is a a war going on it's like a, either a digital war or a um a spiritual war between um, light and dark um, and this is what's going on and there's people on the earth plane if they go over it's like they're working from that side they're being um, a warrior on, and supporting the people that are here um, who are awake and understand what what is going on you know um, some people if they're stuck on that kind of tv energy and just watching the tv they'll be oblivious to what's actually going on um, you know but um yeah, so um, I'm sure Sharon, she's going to be up there with the angels, you know, sending down love and support to you. Um, you know, remember that she'll be in heaven. She'll be having a bit of a party with the other people um, who, you know, her, her friends, family members, people that she's known, pets that have been around her for since her childhood, their, you know, past life energies. They'll be having a party up there. I always feel for the people that are here because it's your loss. Um, you know, it's your loss that you have to um, deal with and cope with, you know, your pain. So I always feel for, for you. So sending you lots of um, big hugs. Okay. Um, so today I'm going to be doing astrology readings. Uh, so we're going to go through all of those and, um, if uh, we, we may be joined by a couple of other readers, we may not, it depends. Um, because I, I now think it's kind of nice that um, it's not just me giving these little predictions for um, next week and everything. It's, it's coming from these other wonderful people. Um, and we've all got kind of our own way of doing, our own way of working, which is wonderful. You know, everyone uses different cards and has got different knowledge. So... So yeah, it's all good. Um, so um, I've got a raffle, a new raffle starting. 
Okay, so I'm going to go through all the different prizes for the raffle. It's quite a lot of prizes. Okay, so um, uh, where did my finger here? Okay, so here's the raffle. It started out. I haven't written at the top of it actually. Um, so what are the prizes for the raffle? So it's a black obsidian. crystal ball. It is the, it's the black crystal ball. Where did that go? Hmm. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. Here it is. Okay. The black obsidian crystal ball. Okay. Hello, Deborah. Black obsidian crystal ball. Oh, Sharon, did you want to come in, darling? I've just remembered you are in the chat. Um, did you want to come in and help out with the astrology? It's entirely up to you. I don't want to put pressure on you or make you feel as if, you know, you you know, to do it. Um, because I'm absolutely open. Um, if you are, let me find the Zoom code, just in case you want to come in. I'll literally just inbox it over to you, though, Sharon. I know Vera might come in too. So astrology signs. How are you, Deborah? Have you had a nice day? Have you got a daddy um, that you've been spoiling? What's been going on? I'm new, new to this. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Nothing really, um, Sharon. You just sit back and listen to your astrology signs. Um, obviously the raffle, if you wanted to join in the raffle, you can, um, I do a raffle for, it's a pound, um, it's a pound, or if you're outside the UK, then it's $2. Okay. Oh, it's been hot. Is it? Wow. AZ, is that Arizona? I'm trying to learn all these different states, but here in the UK, we have no idea <laughs> what the abbreviations are. We really don't. Uh, Sharon, let me try and find you. Let me search, do a search. Sharon. And there you are. Arizona. Okay. That's really hot, isn't it? That's like sweltering. Just lay me in a pool <laughs> and just leave me there all day. That would be just great. I'd be, if I was near a pool, I'd be happy. Yeah, I really would be. Um, that would just be great. Um, okay. So, what else have we got? I'll put it in the classes. Let's make a party of it. Who knows? People might want to come in, mightn't they? I am doing the astrology readings for this week if anyone wants to join me you are all most welcome here is the zoom code okay just quickly had something to eat. I was nearly falling asleep and I thought, oh my God. I, in fact, I did fall asleep for a, about a minute or so. And I was like, oh my God, don't fall asleep, Ali. That would just be awful. <laughs> and, and don't do any of the astrology readings. Um, Julie, um, I didn't have time to do your reading, but I'll have, have to do it after this. So um, um, I'm, I've got commit, but this is the trouble. I have got commitments, things that I promised to do. And it's really, really difficult to then squeeze in. This is why I don't need to do in or anything. To squeeze in all the other bits and pieces, um, you know. So I have to kind of do what, because I'm, I've committed to do the weekly tarot, the weekly astrology. Um, and that has to be done by Monday. And of course, we're actually in Monday now. Um, and tomorrow, during the day, I have uh, readings. And tomorrow evening, I have readings 
Yeah, sorry, um, circle, I teach circle. And then after that, I then have a reading. So it's literally all my day and night is time slotted. You see what I mean? So I, I try and do the best I can. Um, so yeah, it's like I don't like letting people down, but I'm trying to do, to do good and to please everybody. Um, I look terrible to join in on Zoom and you are for the time difference, but very nice. Oh, that's okay, Deborah. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm telling the our class, it's like a class chat here. Um, so I sent the Zoom code over to them. It's for, in, if, it's for those people who wanted to, because I always do the astrology readings, but I'm kind of opening it up to see if there's anybody else who wants to do them as well. So um, no, you're under no obligation to come in um, to Zoom. I did, I did the um, uh, so one-to-one -one readings earlier. Um, so that, that was lovely. Um, so this is just astrology readings, but just to start off, I'm doing the raffle. So um, we have the choices of, and there'll be two main prizes, okay? Um, first main prize, get this screen back. Okay, so the first main prize is a choice between a black obsidian crystal ball or the light Sears Tarot, and I'll show you those in a minute. Okay, the Light Sears Tarot, or so you obviously the first person gets first choice, and then after that, obviously the second person gets their choice. Um, these posters, I mean that's one side, um, that's the other side. There's three of those. Okay, so um, that's a set, but I've only got three in the set. Okay, so there's those. Um, or you've got a set of runes, okay, so I've been making runes, these are the silver runes there, and there's a black set as well, so if these sell in the meantime, I just make more, okay, so these ones I will save though, the coasters will be exactly those coasters. Okay, so yeah, you've got the choice of the runes, either one of those colors. Um, and I was gonna, oh, what else was it? There was something else as well. Oh yes, this. So there was also this, it's a, a plaque, astrology kind of plaque. Now, the reason why I'm raffling this and not selling it in the shop is because when I'm making things, sometimes it, they're classed as seconds. Now, obviously this goes, as this goes around, you can see that that's quite thin. And I mean, it's still really strong. I mean, it's not going anywhere, um, but then it gets a bit thicker. And that's because it didn't dry on a completely um, dry surface. So that's why, but if it's put on a wall, you're not gonna know. Or if it's put on a table, just to mean, um, so you can use that as, um, you know, just, just a display piece. Um, so, um, so the cho choices are um, this, you can choose this, you can choose the posters, okay, choose the posters. There's also a red, a rose quartz bracelet, okay, made with love by myself, rose quartz bracelet, the crystal ball, the light sears tarot so you've got choices there of what you would like okay so um so if anybody wanted to join in with the raffle um you can get me to pick out um numbers for yourself or you can um you pick out numbers for yourself or you can um you know choose them yourself okay so you can get me to do it or you do it Okay, so these are the ones that have already gone. Okay. And if anybody sees this after, and um, you would have to contact me, um, inbox me, because some of the numbers might have gone. So um, if, you, if this is outside of this Zoom call, then I would just say, can you pick me three numbers or can you pick me five numbers? Okay, just so that you can be sure that you're not picking numbers that have already gone. Okay, 
So, um, runes. Um, star, pink, silver, posters. I'm just writing this down. Um, astrology pack, plaque, astrology uh, plaque. I'm going to be making more um, astrology uh, plaques that are um, as perfect as I can get them, put it that way, um, with resin and with handmade products. You know, you try to do what you can, okay? So, and there's the Lightseer's Tarot. The Lightseer's Tarot is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, let me put them up the right way so that you can see. I mean, the star. Look at the star. Isn't that lovely? Seven of Wands. Seven of Cups, the world. Okay, so what you do is you pick your numbers, Deborah, um, and then you can go to PayPal and you can pay via PayPal, uh, which is a pound each ticket, or if you're outside the, U the UK, then it's two. Hi, Sam, um, then it's $2. OK, and, or you can go to my website and pay that way, uh, which is psychicalley.net. OK, so it's guiding angels at BT Internet for the PayPal. Um, so that's G-U-I-D-I-N-G angels at BT Internet.com. OK, so. That's how you join in if you want to. Um, the light sees tower again. So three of wands, six of wands, ace of cups, page of wands, nine of wands. They're just, I love this one. Women's solidarity or friendship, you know, male or female friendship. People sticking together. I love the full card. The full card is like, just trust. You're just literally trusting that the universe has got your back. Six of pentacles. Aren't these just beautiful cards? Um, Oh, look at the sun. Is that not the best sun card you've ever seen in any tarot? To me, they are wonderful. The wheel. Look at the two of cups. Two of cups. Hi, priestess. So if you want to have a go, it's a pound. Pound a ticket, just tell me your numbers, or you can say, Ali, I'll have five numbers, or three numbers, or one number. So you can literally tell a story. Who are they by? Um, the Lightseer's Tarot is by Chris Ann. So yeah, Chris Ann, and it's a light seer's tarot. So highly recommend um, purchasing those. Um, you know, they are gorgeous. And obviously, I teach tarot, so you know these are good to um, to use as well. Um, if you're new, you know they're they're quite easy to read. Okay, so I'm gonna. Start. So if anybody wants anything, then just let me know. OK, we've already got our Vera. Hi, Vera. So Vera and um, Sharon have already uh, put their names down. Can you see that energy again behind me here? Crazy energy. OK. Um, 
oh, I've eaten and I've got pain as well. Two hiatus hernias. Do you know what? If I was a dog or a cat or any animal, they'd put me down. They'd say, she's in so much pain, that girl. How much is a pound? Depends where you're from, Deborah. I don't know where you're from. Um, where are you from? I've got a currency converter. Are you eating your dinner, Sam? What you got for dinner? Something nice? So, okay, so the things I've got on at the moment, um, psychic counselling at the moment is um, $20 off, Arizona, USA. It works out, it's about $2 basically. So, yeah, so if you're outside the UK, it's $2. Okay, so, yeah, $2 a day. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, the $60, $60. Okay, so $60 is, um, is for the um, psychic development, not psychic development, well, psychic development is $60, but um, the psychic counseling. Okay, so psychic counseling, if anybody is feeling low, and they can't get an appointment quick enough and you know we can really do a lot with with the cards okay so um that is um if you wanted a reading or you wanted to go to the website to book that you can um it's uh, psychicalley.net okay or you can have a love life reading um double timeline reading which means um, making a decision trying to decide whether you're going to go in this direction or this direction you know what is best would my life be happier if I made this decision? Um, so you can really um, go into it in detail and see your, your future unfold, okay? And you can kind of see, you know, um, which, which way would be shining brighter. Um, so I do one-to-one -one psychic counseling, one-to-one -one, um, tarot tuition, okay? So there's, all sorts of um, different different types of reading, life life path, um, that sort of thing. Um, so um, I'm going to be doing the astrology um, now. So um, I'm going to go. I don't know which way we're going to go around. What is everybody's birth signs out in the chat at the moment? Um, let's have a little look and see if I can see if I can. Um, start with the majority <laughs> um so what's your birth signs guys tell me what you what you are mm -hmm. so sam is an aries um oh shazan hello it's actually for saying that right shazan uh, Vera is an Aries, Deborah is a Capricorn, Shazane Shiza is a Libra, um, Sharon Beck is a Gemini, and Lisa is Pisces. Okay, so there's not any that are, they're all a little bit, this is two air signs, one water sign, two fire signs. So... There's not really much in that, is there? So, so perhaps we'll go with um, air signs first, and then we we'll go with fire signs, then earth signs, and then water signs. Okay, that's what we'll do. All right. So I'm going to get a little um, stand thing. Yeah. Right. So, first of all, we're going to start off with Aquarius, then we're going to go to Gemini and then Libra. Okay, so I'll put that there. Needs to be up a little bit higher. That's still not high enough. Okay. 
there. Is that all right? Excellent. So Deborah says, I am an earth sign, but I have so such a lot of water in my chart. How does that affect that? So it means that you're very practical, Deborah, um, but you can also be very um, emotionally intuitive as well. So, you know, you, you're very caring and loving um, with, uh, with people close to you. So, yeah, um, it's a nice blend, isn't it? Okay. Trying to get to my diary. I've got so much stuff on my table, you wouldn't believe it. Um, okay, so what date are we doing? What's today's date? The 20th, is that 21st? 21st, happy solstice, everybody. Happy solstice. Um, so Sandy can't do that. Okay. So um, this is the 21st. Um, of, so we're going to be doing the astrology for this next week. So it's 21st of June through to the 27th of June. Okay, so 21st through to the 27th of June. There we go. Okay. I am too tired to join Nally feeling a running a marathon without finishing the finish line and start. That's okay. I understand. That's all right. Okay. So predictions now. All right. So here we go. So what's going on with Aquarius um, people? What's going on with Aquarius? Um, so 21st through to the 27th of June. Um, There's some way of stopping this pain underneath my ribs. Good heavens. I'm just going to go off camera for two minutes just while I try and stop this pain. Um, you can still hear me. Um, just for a moment. better no one can see what I've done for that <laughs> much better okay mm. oh thank you I've got two giant hiatus hernias um that need operating on and when I've eaten something which wasn't very much but every now and again it doesn't sit right doesn't tend to go down and it was a little bit spicy so I think that was what was wrong. Hi Carla. Mm -hmm. Right okay so beginning of the week for Aquarius okay so this would be 21st to the 27th of June. Okay, so I'm seeing um, somebody's going to be, you know, it's like when you're dead, it's like I dare you to have a go or I dare you to try this um, or I don't think you're capable of doing it. It's like someone set that gauntlet and said, you know, are you going to do it? Are you going to be able to do it? Will you complete this or not? Okay, so it's definitely something um, that, you know, it's like a challenge has been set. It does feel as if, you know, it's going to start off going really well, the challenge, uh, which means that you're just going to be spurred on, you sort of mean, by your own self um, to continue. So um, there's something linked with your home as well. So I feel that this may be a practical thing to do with your home. It may be because of your home. It may have something to do with, um, you know, doing this on your own because the hermit card could mean, you know, all of those things. Um, you're having to juggle everything about, and this is to do with people's happiness. So, you know, when you feel as if, um, no matter what, if, um, if I make this decision, 
then I'm going to upset that person. And if I make that decision, it's going to upset that person. So it's a feeling of I just can't win. No matter what I'm doing, I just can't win. So you, you're going to be a little bit um, annoyed with that. There's a feeling here um, of somebody being two sided. You look at them and you think they look, you know, butter wouldn't melt in their mouth. But they've got this, um, it's like a, a little side to them that you, you, you know, there's been little niggles that you think, I don't like the way that they um, spoke about that person, or I don't like the way that they are trying to judge people, you know. So uh, it's going to be a little bit um, tricky because I feel that this person is entering your life as a friendship through another person as a friend. Um, it's going to be a bit tricky for you, okay, because you've got your doubts about this person. Um, you're quite a, a, you know, your Aquarius characters, you can be quite eccentric, you can be funny, you can be funny, fun loving, you know, a little bit quirky, okay, with, with, with your personality. When you come into contact with somebody who, I'm going to swear in a minute, and I'm really sorry, I'm going to bleep it out. When you come into contact with somebody um, who you just don't get, you know, and you're thinking it doesn't add up what they're saying, your radar is high. So when this is high, you, it's like you can laugh at the, the silliness of it all and the silliness of what they're talking about. And, you know, it's like, I don't know if you will be, some of you will question uh, that particular person, but some of you will, will be, you know, um, I'll let it go. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to upset the person who is in being introduced uh, to them. So uh, I feel that there is a, a strong psychic side with you and this strong side is just going to kick in big time. OK, and it's a lot of people around you. I think that you're going to be able to make instant decisions about them, instant kind of energies, um, you know, just just where you, know, you just don't like their vibe. You don't like what they what they're talking about. It's all going to start to, to come about. OK, um, there is a situation that you're choosing not to see, though. This situation is nothing serious. It's more like a person that you know is going to come to you and need you um, because they've done it before. When you've already got enough on your plate and you don't know what to do, um, it's like I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to go to somebody else to get some help here because I'm already overloaded with um, other priorities that um, I can't get out of. Obviously, you would make time for them and you would make sure that they are okay. But it's like you're choosing. It's like you know that this person is going to be asking for help and you're automatically going into a defensive mode. OK, that's how that that feels to me. Um, so it's going to be a bit a bit awkward. So I would say the middle of this this next week is, is your awkward time. So try and stay away from everybody, basically. Um, do things on your own. You'd be safer. OK, Aquarius. Um, about spending some money. Um, so the end of the week is going to be perfect for you. End of the week is going to be very vibrant, very happy. I feel that there is a lot of family energy or friends that are like family. There's going to be a lot of um, people who um, are caring for each other, being very, um, it's like a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, okay? Seeing all of that around you might kind of go for a walk in the park and you're seeing all of this love and happiness. It's like life is starting to get back to how it used to be before the pandemic. And it's also a time for you to step up your game, a linking with your financial world as well, because I'm seeing, you know, thinking about kind of what you're going to do. Do you want to stay in the job you're doing? Do you want to move your job? Do you want to do something as well? What is it you want to do? Um, there's somebody who's going to be talking to you about exercise and this is going to be for some of you it's going to be great because you'll enjoy that conversation they might even be encouraging you to join them for others of you it would be the worst thing possible um, for you to be hearing because it's like I really don't want to go down there um, that line so 
or you can't for whatever reason. So there's definitely talk, talking about kind of, you know, keeping fit and changing, you know, diets and things like that. There's definitely money coming into your hands, though. I'm definitely seeing, uh, you know, financial luck, uh, good fortune, um, things working out well, okay, for you. And it feels as if money's coming in from lots of different angles and not just um, from one. Okay, so anyway, that's what I see for you Aquarius people. Okay, thank you for all the hearts. Ah, oh, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Oh, so what have we got? We've got Isabel there. Do you do any breathing techniques for your pain, Ali? It's very difficult when you're in constant pain to sit there and do breathing techniques, especially as I'm doing this. And with the hiatus hernia, it's like someone's sitting on my chest because um, I've got a giant one that fills up here and then I've got another one underneath. So it's not as easy with breathing for me. Um, Vera, when the flea instrument is under control, I feel lots better. That's what the marathon without a finish line is in sight about. Do you know what? You said marathon, right? And this is what come up, Vera. So it was just really funny. You know, you're saying the marathon. Okay. Yes, so um, hi, Jamie, we're doing, that felt spot on for Aquarius. Ah, oh, thank you, Robin, for all of the support there. I've got lots of hearts and thumbs up, so that was good. Yeah, so you understand about your Aquarius side. Yeah, so you try and be supportive to everybody, but you also have to be realistic as well, because in order to help somebody else out, you then would have to let someone else down. Just, I mean, it's like, who needs me more? So sometimes it's easier to stick your head in the sand a little bit and hope that they are somebody else. Okay, so we're going to be doing Gemini now. Okay, so Geminians, as Greg would call them. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay. Right, that feels right to me. Okay, so start of the week is going to be a little bit of be careful who you're trusting. Okay, um, there's somebody around who this doesn't have to be a physical person. This can be somebody who you're watching on um, TV, or you could be watching on YouTube or something like that. But there's something that's not adding up, okay, uh, for you when everyone else is saying that they trust them and that everything's good. There is an opposite side, okay, to this person, and your spidey senses are going ding, 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 not quite right. Now, I know I've just given this information to Aquarius, so, um, you know, there's always a common theme that runs through um, every week, um, and maybe this is the one. Maybe this one is all about kind of people and trusting who is saying what does this make sense? Now, a lot of people that kind of follow me or watch me know that I'm um, very big on the, the truth is energy. OK, so I feel wide awake um, and understanding what this is all about. So there's not going to be many people. Does that make sense? Who aren't so. I don't think it's to do with the truth situation. I think it's to do with somebody who, you, you know, you like. It's not the obvious is what I'm trying to say. It's not the obvious like the government or something like that. Or don't trust the government. It's more than that. OK, so I feel that that is what is going to be starting off your week. You're going to be putting a lot of dreams and wishes out there. OK, there's a lot of things that you want now. A lot of things that you uh, really need to um, concentrate on that, uh, you know, it's it's like um, I've been so busy with work and I've been so busy with with family and I've done not done the things that I really, really want to do. 
So this is my time now. So this is the perfect timing for me. And this is what I'm going to do. So I feel that it's like you've prioritized some time off. OK, that's what you've done. And you're going with it. You're taking that leap of faith um, that is going to help you to take a break, to put your feet up or to go and do what it is that you really want. It could be that that's what your wishes are. That's what your wish was. It's like um, for, for, to have some guilt free time so that you can do what it is that you really desire doing, what it is that you want. OK, so by the middle of the week. This a very good abundant energy around you the middle of the week, especially on a financial finance is to do with a financial project. OK, so it's with a financial project. I feel that you're going to be walking away from one project and going straight into and trusting, leaping, leaping forward energy into another project. Now that can be moved for some people. It might be moving a job. Just, I mean, I was going to do this job and now I'm going to do this job or I'm going to leave that department. I'm going to go to this department or I'm leaving my job and going self-employed or I'm go, from self-employment. I'm going into a job. Why you would do that? I don't know. Anyway, something is going to be changing. Just to mean back and forth kind of energy changing back and forth. And I feel that there's abundance around this, like it's a very good um, thumbs up from the spirit world. I'm seeing an investment linking with a house or investment linking to a big investment, like um, pouring a lot of energy into doing up a house or pouring a lot of energy into um, a project that you really want to do. Do you know I mean it's like this? Um, it's like a it's going to take a lot of concentration. Um, it's not something that is an instant thing. I think that it's one of those slow burn kind of um, projects. Do you know what I mean? So you, you'll be working on it for a long time before you get any financial benefit from it. Um, but it means that you've sometimes got to let go of another project or let go of some other thing in order to, to concentrate on it. Because if you don't concentrate on it, it's not going to come to anything. Um, but I do feel that this is um, definitely decisions about your future on a long term basis, linking with money matters. OK, for Gemini's, let's have a look. Um, there seems to be some legal or official documents that is around the end of next week. So that will be going more into the 27th, kind of up to the 27th of June. OK, so you're going to be really looking at the fairness of the right and the wrong uh, way to go about something or, you know, looking for complications or anything that isn't, um, doesn't look right to you. And it's to do with kind of reading on paperwork, on documents. Um, there is a certain situation where you feel as if your hands are tied. So even if you didn't like a certain thing, um, you still haven't got a choice. I mean, I've still got to go for it, but at least I'm covered there. Um, and just in case I'm not covered there. So it's a bit like kind of having to, you know, decide just what I mean on, you know, whether to, it's again, it's about, you know, dealing with things and sometimes not seeing what is in front of you, even though it's, yeah, it's about some things we can change in life and some things it's like, we have to save that battle for another day. You know, so, well, that's not right, but I haven't got a lot of choice energy. OK, so it is linked with documents and paperwork. You are going to be looking after yourself, though, because I can see protection around you. So I'm not worried about you signing contracts and paperwork because I feel that you are looking at things in a practical way. You're questioning what needs to be questioned and you're going with the flow with other things. So. Um, so, yeah. OK, so. That's what I see for the Gemini's. So we're going to be doing Libra. So Libras, this is my um, twin flame love. This is Greg. This is yours. It is also my uh, rising sign. OK, so if you don't know your sun, moon and rising, then you need to um, um, put into the search engine um, what is my sun, moon and rising? 
and uh, then they'll ask you to fill out um, your date of birth, your time of birth and your location. And with all of those, it is um, that they'll show you, okay, um, what is your sun, moon and rising. I've got, I'm a Pisces, but my rising sign is a Libra and I've also got Sagittarius. So they're my three. What are your three? So if you don't know your three, you should be looking at three of these, um, of these star signs to make it uh, fully um, jump out at you. So Jamie says, this is me too. So you're a Libra, are you Jamie? Do you think this sounds right for you, Sharon Beck? Beck? Uh, so there are, after the fire signs, I am taking Benji out and then when back, I'll bath him with the no flea shampoo again. That gives him a lot of relief. And it's the only way to get them out of his undercoat. Oh, it's awful. I have I have been in situations where, you know, once you get fleas in your house, it's so hard. Uh, so Vera's going through that, bless her. So sending you lots of love, Vera. Okay. So um, so Libra. So this is this is uh, Greg. Greg is a triple Libra. So um, that's funny. Um, triple Libra. Okay, it's been bitten on the boob. Okay, so Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the best card, really, emotionally. Um, this means that um, there is a lot of happiness, a lot of bliss energy. Um, there's a lot of kind of people um, around you who are grateful for your time, for your energy. Uh, you feel grateful to be in their energy as well. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay. So it's a nice card to have to start off with as well. Okay. So it does feel as if you are kind of rushing about, rushing here, rushing there. You know, it's like a busy, busy, busy week. Okay. This is going to, this is how it's going to feel. Uh, like you won't, it's like, uh, you know, when they say, well, you won't have much time to yourself because you won't, because there'll be so much to do. And I do feel, and I'm gonna stick my neck out here, Greg, I feel that you're gonna find out next week when your operation is, I really feel it. I know you're supposed to find out on Friday, um, but I really feel as if you will be finding out. And it's like, that's all to do with the preparation, getting ready, making sure that you are prepared for, um, you know, being, you know, not being able to do much for six weeks. So that's that's what I feel that is for, for you, Greg. For other people, it's all about rushing, rushing and rushing and rushing and getting things done. Emotionally, it feels as if sometimes we have to kind of let things go in and hoping that they come back. Does that make sense? So it's like, you know, well, whatever happens, happens. You know, um, I'm putting... I'm putting my life in, in the hands of what will be meant to be. Okay, so it's it's kind of a bit like that um, is, is how a lot of people are going to be feeling. Um, sometimes we have to say, I'm done and I'm walking away, you know. Um, and I feel that this is about a person in your life who was once very close, but now there's a little bit of animosity. And I feel that, you know, this isn't going to be an easy time for you to walk away. Um, this is going to be difficult uh, decision to make. I don't feel as if you're making it on your own. I feel as if there's someone else around you. Obviously, the other person knows what's going on. Maybe it's a mutual decision, okay, that is happening. It's not nice, though. But I'm going to go back to the first card and say that there's a lot more people around you who do appreciate you, do love you, and do want to be in your company, and you feel grateful to be in theirs. There's just little um, odd people in your life that you just have to say, do you know what, I've tried my best. You know, it could be a group of people, of course. It could be, do you know what, I, I'm not trying to convince anybody um, to listen to me or to take me seriously. It's like, if you want to do that. A lot of kind of the truth is are basically saying this about people who are saying, I'm going to go and get vaccinated when, you know, you've done loads, you know, we've done loads and loads of research 
and um, it's like we've seen how dangerous this is and um, and it's like they just won't listen they're just being blinkered do you know what I mean they're not even looking this is not a normal fact it's not so um, so yeah it just this to me just feels as if there's something happening uh, regarding letting go so it could be to do with that it might be to do with nothing like that um, but sometimes you have to say just get on with it you your choice your life off you go then um, so there's an energy behind that so that's that's the beginning of the week for uh, Librans the middle of the week middle of the week is um investments okay investing your time or investing in something okay now I think Greg has just got into crypto I think he's given not some advice because you're not allowed to he's just spoken aloud about what he is doing so if you wanted to find out more about that, have a watch um, the spirit chats uh, and things that he does on his in 5D page. He gives a lot of hints about, about what he's doing. Uh, he can't give financial advice because he's not a financial advisor. But um, yeah, there's, there's something, something there for, for you if you're interested. Um, but it could be investing time. For some of you, it'll be investments. For others of you, it'll be investing your energy uh, time investing your love okay so it's all about kind of the energy that you put into something and the energy is basically a feeling of okay so they, they're talking to me about um two people coming up in your life and this is the middle of next week linking around the investments there's one person who is very uh, changeable energy. You know, you can see that they hide behind their smile. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Don't you worry about me. It's all good. The other person, but they might be going through something emotionally, but the, and the other person is very similar, but they put a hard front on. So they act tougher. The other person is smiley. So you've got a smiley person. You've got somebody who's, um, you know, a bit uh, tough to read, you know, that sort of thing. So these two people are around investments. I'm not picking up a bad feeling about it. I'm picking up um, a practical side of things. So maybe they're helpful. Um, you know, maybe they're giving you, um, I don't know, some valid choices. Hello. How are you? We've got company. I don't need to see anybody, do I really? I'm just halfway through doing a reading. I'm sorry about this, everybody. I'm sorry. Um, he's after a treat. So I'll give him a treat and then we should get some, some help here. Um. <laughs> Let's get a treat. And I'll try and continue. <laughs> Never a dull moment here, is there? This is Mo. He had a brother called Giz. Giz and Mo. And um, his brother died. It was awful. It was absolutely terrible situation to be in because they were like that. And he still, he walks every night, he walks into the kitchen crying, looking for his brother still. And that was well, maybe six months ago, I think, something like that, six months ago. Absolutely devastating. Really upsetting. That's got to be more than that. It'll be about a year now. Yeah, so um, he still misses his brother. Um, so how do I finish those cards? I'm not sure. Can you just lift your phone a minute? I just want to get the card. Terribly sorry. You want to hug him, I know. Love. Um, yeah, so um, there's going to be some discussions as well. Somebody's going to be talking about moving because um, it feels as if it's like, I'm, I feel as if I, I'm not settled where I'm at. I'm here in a conversation. I'm not settled where I am. Um, I feel that I need to move. You know, I, if I move, I'll be happier. Something like that. So it's kind of like a, um, 
you know, you know when somebody uh, makes a statement, but they're waiting for you to talk them out of it. And you know when sometimes you can't because you actually feel as if they probably would be happier if they moved. Or it's like, I'm not gonna get involved in that drama because they, um, they're always talking about it. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just um, hearing those conversations going off there. Okay, so the end of this next week for Librians. Okay. Hey, my guys, honestly, they have a little chat with me. When I'm trying to pick up what the three cards mean, they then have a little chat about something else as well. So there's like three things I've got to say. Okay, as well as it being three of pentacles. So this, um, we can literally see the traffic lights. I know that the, the, the uh, colours are different, um, but traffic lights are going to mean something to Librans next week. Okay, especially the end of the week. It could be that you have to be careful regarding traffic lights. Be sensible. You know, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not picking up anything really drastically awful, but it's more to do with kind of getting tickets and things like that um, because you went through um, a red light, you know, that, that type of thing. So just be aware of traffic lights and, and be more cautious next week, um, Librans, okay? Um, don't want to get you any tickets or anything. Okay, so... Um, the other thing is I'm seeing you, that you are preparing. Um, it's like there's a big project and this project has to be done by a certain time. This is linked with house. This is linked with DIY, changes in the house, that type of thing. And I'm seeing this project. It's like, I've got to do this first. Then after that, this is going to happen. And then after that, this is going to happen. So it's like, it's like I've got to do it in stages. And I'm seeing this being organized and played out and sorted. Um, so there's a hell of a lot to do. And, and uh, it is linking around. So it doesn't have to be you directly. You could be around this, but this would have to affect your life, as in you would have a conversation with somebody and they would, might be asking you if you could help, that type of thing. Bit of mischievous behavior for you guys. Um, so you're going to be letting out your naughty side. Um, towards the end of the week, Librans. Um, and uh, sometimes this can be letting out your inner child. Sometimes this can be, you know, um, enjoying life and, uh, and being a bit more carefree, okay? You know, having some belly laughs, maybe having a drink or doing something that um, um, other people um, would, would class as, you know, laughter, you know, they'd find it funny. Does that make sense? That sort of, sort of thing. There's also something to do with um, study, study, learning, teaching, development, okay, education, okay, there's issues around that. There is also, I'm, I'm picking up a serious situation. Um, I have been hearing, and I have to share it um, with you, that they are starting to um, not even ask parents whether or not um, they're okay to, to, for their child to be um, injected um, with this vax. Um, so just be careful, okay? It is happening. And this is coming from an NHS worker. Um, I am getting this information. So it, it is, if, if there's, they're playing video um, to the children saying how important it is that they save their grandparents and that they are carriers of this and uh, that they need to do this and uh, some of them are being you know encouraged with ice cream or all sorts of things it's, it's absolutely appalling and um yeah so and they're literally parents will literally be the child will be coming home with this certificate saying i've just been vaxxed that is and and that is it so you it's like you have to opt out of of this for your children. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but if I didn't say anything, that, that would be awful. So anyway, just, just be aware. Um, because I've definitely got education around here. And the card that I had with the education is this one. So you can see why I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I've got to. So yeah. 
there's actually needles in this. They're missing needles, but they're needles. Anyway, um, can't say too much. You have to be careful these days, don't you? You tell the truth, that's it. The channel gets closed down. That's, is that not suspicious to anybody, really? Okay, so Deborah said, my twin flame is a Sagittarius. Don't have his racing, but Capricorns and Sagittarius, yes, I am way too emotional for him and I don't think I'll ever meet. But he has been a godsend. Oh, okay, I hope you do meet. Uh, Vera said, have sent an email to a company that does professionally. Probably too expensive, but not asking. Asked is not knowing. The magnitude is too big for me on my own. Uh, oh, thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I love your readings too. Okay, so um, we're going to be doing, so we've done Libra. So um, what are we doing next? We're doing the fire signs next, everybody. So I know that Vera needs to get off to bed. So I'm going to start with Aries, okay, today. I usually start with Leo and Sagittarius, but I'm going to start with Aries because I know that there are some Aries people out there. You don't know is rising. Yeah, you kind of need the location, the date and the time of birth, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So Aries, this is for you. Aries, Aries. Okay, so I've got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, she puts a smile on her face no matter what she or he. Um, they try and hide behind their um, emotions, you know, and it's like, I'm fine, everything's okay. You know, don't you worry about me, but there's, there's a little underneath the surface kind of emotions coming out. So this could be how you are feeling next week. Um, it could be somebody close to you who is like that. It's like having to wear a mask and try and hide what is really going on. Okay, that's how things are starting out. There seems to be um, a situation that you are needing to deal with, but you've got to kind of be tough about it. I've got to walk sideways around this situation. It's like I can't deal with this head on but I've got to walk sideways around it. So there seems to be an awkwardness energy um, emotionally around you. And also it's, it's like you don't want to get involved. It's like people squabbling or people not, um, not getting on. Do you see what I mean? It's like, um, you know, and it's like, you know, when you feel as if I've got to pick a side, I don't want to pick a side. I don't want to get dragged into this. So, yeah, it just, it feels as if, I don't know, it, it's like, um, you know, like I said, we have a common theme, does that make sense, that runs through the readings a lot of the time, and maybe this is, you know, sometimes we're choosing not to see um, certain things that are happening, and a lot of um, this is going on in the truth is energies as well, isn't it, where a lot of people are knowing that there's something not right, but they are, they don't want to appear to have been wrong all this time. Um, and, you know, calling everybody else out as being liars. So they don't want to admit that actually they, everybody was telling the truth. Um, so it can be a situation like that. This could be something different um, as well. But it is where, you know, somebody is, is choosing not to see what is actually going on. Um, and there seems to be um, a tippy toeing around this person or this situation. Okay, so 
it is an awkward time, I think, for everybody. Um, and uh, it's, it's literally showing in these cards so clearly, okay, um, at the moment. So I do, I do, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough week. And I feel that things, things are coming to a head. Things are changing. We just have to, to remain um, as calm and as, as patient as we possibly can be uh, with everybody. Okay, but um, you know, there's definitely something starting off at the beginning of the week for a lot of us. Okay, so travel plans. I'm seeing, um, you know, links with vehicles and travel. And um, you know, when it's like I, I'm choosing not to go out this week, I don't want to get in my car, I don't want to drive anywhere, I just want to stay indoors, I just want to keep myself to myself, I don't really want to be mixing with anybody. Um, when I'm mixing with people, I seem to be getting into heavy conversations or I seem to be upsetting somebody even when I'm trying not to. Or, you know, I don't like the, the vibes I'm getting um, at the moment. So I'm seeing a lot of kind of isolation energy around you guys. Um, you know, the Aries characters there at the middle of this next week. Um, so this reading is for the 21st through to the 27th of June. 2021 so um yeah it just feels as if it's like you know um vehicles travel it's like i'll stay indoors and i'll just deal with uh, my own stuff there is a need to sort out something to do with a car so if you know that you need your tires done or you know that you need water in your windscreen wipers or something like that they're urging you to just get and get and sort that out okay because it will um stop worrying you Okay, so there's a need to get that that done. Okay, um, so there's a spend up, and then there's more money. It's like I'm, I I very rarely get these three cards together, but when I do, I'm very very happy for the Aries people or whoever I'm reading for, because I've got, you know, when you've had a spend up and you think to yourself, ouch that cost a lot of money or that costs more money than it normally does or just I mean you're thinking oh my goodness um and then we've got this new energy it's like here you go here's some extra money or it could be that here's some extra money so that you can have a spend up but then we have the empress card and the empress card when it is mixed with pentacles turns it into a money situation and this means that everything is coming to fruition. So things are getting better. Now, if there's anybody who hasn't yet tried the beaver technique, and stop laughing. <laughs> um, everyone laughs at me with the beaver technique. But it is. It's about a beaver creating a dam that stops money and good fortune and love and everything coming towards you. So sometimes we have to go back. Um, visualize a river and visualize that um, there's a trickle of water coming down the river. So that means that you're getting some, you're not getting much. Just that I mean, it's like, you know, somebody might do something nice for you, but then somebody will cut you up on, you know, on the motorway or this happens. Just what I mean, it's like it's, it's spas spasmodic, I think they say, uh, to do with, you know, the... Um, the luck and everything. So um, with this happening, you, you basically need to go backwards. So visualize yourself going back up um, to where the water is blocked and stopped because this naughty beaver has put some sticks and logs in and they've stopped it. Now, each one of those sticks and logs are a thought pattern that you've had that you never get any luck or something that you've said that, that says, you know, financially things aren't good and oh, I'm worried. So any worry, any fear, any anxiety um, over um, anything that is to do with luck coming towards you, that will all create more to this dam. So what we need to do is you can visualize, and this really works, I promise you this works, Every person who I've spoken to who's done this have had unexpected um, luck financially, unexpected um, emotional um, kindness, 
everything. It just keeps coming in at you. So I want you to pull out a twig. Visualize you're pulling out a, a twig, pulling out a stick, pulling out more sticks, more sticks. You're seeing the water kind of trick, trickling down more, trickling down more. You're then pulling out this big log, okay, that has been blocking it. And then all of a sudden, all of this emotional energy and all of this uh, financial abundance and all of this kindness and rewards and everything, it's now all rushing towards you and into your life. So it's like a life-changing moment of, um, I no longer have a block, okay? Um, so try it, I promise you, it works. Okay, so he was probably doing it as I was talking about it anyway, so. Um, because here, you know, these three cards indicate exactly that, financial luck, um, financial luck changing big time. Okay, so Aries, I like your end of the week. It's very, very good. So there you go. That's for you, Aries. What's everyone saying in the chat? Beaver technique does work perfectly. It does. And everyone laughs because it's, you know, whenever we say there's another word in England, I don't know if it is in your country, but in our country, there's um, a funny name for the beaver. OK, so Ali, I'm so tired. I've only been sleeping a couple of hours a night since mum passed. Do you do any other readings, please? Or would you think it would be too soon for mum to give any messages yet? I was just drawn to you when looking and then you went live. Oh, um, Sharon, I don't tend to do mediumship readings. I can get people through, but I don't like being kind of put on the spot, if you know what I mean, that I've got to. Um, they come through sometimes in readings. Um, your mum can come through within hours of passing. Um, it's amazing what happens, um, especially if that, you know, your mum was very spiritual. Um, so, you know, I can recommend some wonderful mediums. Um, there's a lady, a friend of mine, Jill Page. Uh, she is on my site. There's another lady, Christina Green. Um, she's also very good. Um, Christina Green, is, I've got two friends called Christina Green. Uh, this is the blonde lady, okay? Uh, usually red lipstick, blonde lady, long nails, okay? This is the lady. So. Um, she is a psychic medium. Um, who else have we got? We've got lots of lovely, wonderful mediums I could recommend. Um, Judy Milne. Yeah, I would go with, with, with those, really. Um, if I think of any others, I will let you know. But definitely, I'll, you know, it's never too early. This is what I mean. Um, you know, if, 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 if her coming through is going to upset and block your grieving and make it last longer, then she won't come through. If it's going to help you in some way and give you um, relief or give you a feeling of clarity or something like that, um, then, you know, that, that will happen. But you, you have to kind of be ready, just to mean, for, for that person to come through, yeah. Um, I do different types of reading, psychic counselling. I think, for a start, I think it's um, it's not too soon for spirit. Sometimes it's too soon for you. That, that's what I will say. Um, yeah. You do need to fill up your windstream wipers. Yes, see, Vera? You know, it did say that. Uh, thank you for the kind words. Yes, so heartbroken. I honestly feel things will never be the same without mum here. They probably won't, honey. They probably won't. Um, they get it gets easier. I mean, I lost my dad, and it gets easier um, because anything, you know, us as human beings, we're amazingly strong, and we can get through so much. But it will never feel the same but know that never feel bad about your mum because your mum will be in the spirit world, like I said, partying it and doing everything and, and having her world exactly as she wants it. You know, so if she liked gardening, then she'd be up there with a, the most beautiful garden with the be best flowers ever. Um, if um, she is, you know, 
you know, there's, there's so much just to me, it's just so, so much, um, you know, she's fine. It's you just to me. So it's to do with how you are doing. So day by day, you know, let's hope it gets a little bit easier for you. Your mum is still around to help you cope. And yes, you can't see or touch her, but you can still talk to her. Of course you can. See, Conscious says, Beaver Method is working for me and it's in progress. Love it. See? Oh, there's my love. Hello, my darling. I love you. I've just done Libra. It looks a good week. Um, I did pick up, I think, that you're going to hear because I saw you busy getting organised and it felt as if you were getting organised for um, the operation. That's what it felt like. So... Um, We'll have to listen to it again. Okay, if she knows. Right, so we've done Aries. So now we're going to do Sagittarius, but I'm just going to quickly make a drink if that's okay. Um, people. That's okay, Sharon. I don't know what I'd be like, Sharon, if I lost my mum, like I said. Me and mum, my mum's like my best friend. So my daughters, you know, we tend to hang out together, just I mean all of us, um, because we like it. I'm gonna take my boy out now, we'll match, watch the rest on replay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just quickly making a drink. It. my last one went cold okay uh, Sam Alison for some reason something is telling me to go see a medium before my uncle passed he's at end of life not sure what to do if you're getting the urge to go and see a medium Sam you know then I think you should go you know um You'll feel how happy they are in the spirit world. You'll feel it. Um, you know, it isn't about them and grieving them. It's about it's about uh, putting things into into clarity with for you and to to help you to to come to terms with things. But like I said, if if it's going to upset you. Um, if it's going to upset you, then it's not. So you want to go to see a medium about, they won't tell you when someone's going to pass away. Well, a good medium wouldn't. Um, uh, they just wouldn't do it. You know, it is um, really frowned upon, okay, in the spiritual world, you know. Um, so, but um, I find that people who are at the end stages of life, and especially if they are, um, you know, poorly, um, as in kind of, you know, they'd have one foot here, one foot there. So the chances are they are um, already communicating, just sort of mean there. So you can get through to them that way. It depends if they're, you're able to talk to them, just sort of mean um, on the earth plane. Some people, it's like you, you don't know what they're thinking and what they're feeling. Um, and that can sometimes help with the medium. But you'd have to ask a medium on their opinion because some mediums work differently, you know, than other mediums, you know. Uh, so Sam, he got cancer. We know, we know how only got a few weeks. So you only found out late. Is that what you're meaning, Sam? And. Well, my dad, he was given, um, when he found out about, he kept going to the doctors saying, you know, he felt run down and he felt they were ill and they just gave him antibiotics and then that's it, kind of left him. And uh, then when he then said, I want more tests done, he was given six months. They said, you know, you've got six months. So that was a huge shock to all of us in the family. And um, he basically uh, carried on 
because he's he, he was a brilliant person I carried on for uh, three years so um, he kept saying to everyone he's well past his sell by date that's what he used to say um, he was a very funny man and um, but he now works as my spirit guide and we laugh and talk all the time um, he uh, teases me and takes the mickey out of me all the time um, in a nice way and uh, we work well together, me and my dad. So I don't miss I don't miss him as such. I miss his physical presence, of course, but I don't miss him because I've still got him here. So he he's going down that hill now. He's started to waste away now. It's all for the end of life, but when they get over to the spirit world, all of that goes. All the earthly stuff with the you know, the body breaking down and things like that, all of that just disappears. They are free. Um, they are couldn't be happier. They're in kind of paradise, um, you know, when, when they pass over. It's the suffering bit that's not nice. But people, when uh, you mourn for people in the spirit world, um, spirit want, to, want you want to come across. My mum was playing me um, something from... I think there was a young lad talking about, he's a medium, quite an known medium, in America. And um, he was talking about what spirit are like when they come through. And I totally agree with him. And basically, it's spirit don't, when they come through, they don't want to hear. Um, I'm not talking about when you first grieve. And when you're first grieving, it's obvious you're going to be very upset. I'm talking about, you know, like if I was to keep um, talking about my dad and saying, and remembering how he passed, what happened when he passed, and you know how it felt when you know we were given that little bit of time to sort of mean to prepare, you know, and all of that. He wouldn't want me to talk like that. Spirit don't, because they're good. They want to talk about, you know, do you remember when we used to do this? Do you remember when we used to do that? You know, this is this memory, this is that memory, you know, so um. They don't want to be remembered in a sad way. Um, they want to, to visualize life through your eyes, you, you know, the continued life through your eyes. That's what they want to remember. So do things that they used to love. And, uh, you know, it's like every time Formula One comes on the TV, not that I see it much, but um, I always think of my dad. He said, Do we leave it on for you, Dad? Do you know what I mean? I hate Formula One. <laughs> But I'd leave it on, you know, just so that he could have a bit of a watch. <laughs> Obviously, they might have that in uh, heaven, Formula One racing. Who knows? I think you could have anything you want, really, up there. But, yeah, so you have so many happy memories. They gave him a couple of months. That was eight months. He's all I have in this world. He had enough, now wants to be with his wife and son. You can understand that. When your body is saying, I'm tired... I'm done, you know, um, sometimes we have to let them go. It's an awful thing. It's an awful thing. Death, death is sad, isn't it? You know, but it is inevitable. We're all going to be going. But, yeah, I do feel your pain there, Sam. Okay, so we're going to be your Sagittarius now. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Okay, so Sagittarius. So this is my rising. This is the other one, moon. This is my moon sign. Okay, so Sagittarius. So this is for Sagittarius people out there. Okay. It's all right there. Okay, I love this card. Sagittarius, this is your start of your week. Um, these are the light seers tarot. These are the ones that I'm raffling off. Not this particular deck, but um, it is a deck like this. So you can see she's got a crystal in her hand. And she's just literally falling backwards going, I'm going to let the world um, catch me. I'm going to trust. 100% trust. So this to me is like the flower of life, just what I mean. And this is like saying, you know, I'm just going to take that leap of faith and I'm going for it. 
So that's going to be the start of your week is taking a leap of faith, Sagittarius energies. OK, I feel that there's a lot of wisdom, a lot of wise energy, a lot of wise thought pattern, uh, making wise decisions. OK, um, it's it's like, um, you know, when you make the perfect decision because you've already worked into the, your decision making um, that this is going to be coming up or this is going to be coming up or that could hinder you. So you need to do this. So everything, it's like a complex decision making uh, made easy, okay? And your spirit guides are gonna be very close to you making those choices and decisions or helping you to make them. There seems to have been an obstacle that has been blocking you for a long time. This obstacle has no place there um, and you have been sick and tired of trying to be patient and trying to see it from everyone else's point of view or signed, trying to um, you know, hope that this obstacle will just go away by itself. Well, it's not. It's not going away by itself. Um, but with your trust, um, you are going to be doing something about it and taking that leap of faith, like I said. Um, so that's going to be how you're going to start off. Now, for some of you, um, Sagittarius people, this will be um, linked with finances. For some, of, for, for others of you, this will be linked with your emotions. Now, if I was doing you a reading, I'd be able to hone in on your energy and tell you what I'm picking up. You said, I mean, more of that. But because I'm reading for like a collection of people, lots of different Sagittarians out there, then it has to be more generalized and I have to give different scenarios um, about what it could be for other people. So um, you have to forgive me for being a little bit... Um, kind of um, working it for, um, you know, two types of people there. Okay, so there's some secrets that are going to be revealed at the middle of the week. So this is for the 21st through to the 27th of June, 2021. So the middle of this next week is all about secrets. It's about things unfolding the way that they're supposed to unfold, um, getting the information that you, you need to get. Um, I think this is going to upset a few people. Um, I feel that it will make uh, some people feel fed up and, you know, some people will want um, more answers. It will bring up more questions, um, you know, and, uh, but I, you know, I love these cards because it's like you've got these, this situation of kind of like, um, I see high, um, high priestess sometimes as, you know, the font of all knowledge, okay, and sometimes we're not supposed to know everything, sometimes we have to wait, okay, you know, and things will be revealed as and when it's the right time, um, and this here is, um, sometimes that is, you we get fed up with that, because we want what we want, and sometimes it's like, well, why, why am I not getting this, um, you know, more information, you've told me that secret, but what about the rest of it, so there's kind of like that fed up um, feeling and then comes along the world um, and the world card basically is no negative to the world at all it just means that things are turning out better than you thought and um, that this is all for the best and uh, nothing could go wrong it might feel uncomfortable at the time but this is what is meant to be um, so it's like learning lessons on how the universal uh, law works you know uh, what happens um, on a deeper level we've then got the rebirth card okay so I've scrubbed out mine because I don't I don't deal with that okay so this is to do with rebirth new beginnings opening new doors new opportunities closing doors on one way of life beginning of another um, new new opportunities it's all to do with um, you know, it's like the spring is in your life and it's, it's just starting out. There is a little bit of a kind of worry. It's like a nagging feeling that, you know, you've got to kind of get that sorted out and, you know, don't delay. Things are going well. You don't want to cock things up. So make sure that you, you say what you need to say or deal with what you need to deal with before um, anything more happens. We then have the, sometimes we have to hide 
behind a face when we're saying everything's okay everything is fine don't you worry about me it's all good so there's an energy of somebody trying to hide behind a mask trying to uh, mask their feelings and their emotions um all the time this a nagging feeling maybe you're having a nagging feeling about somebody who is trying to hide their feelings and you think that there's more to it uh, maybe they you need to find out a little bit more about you know their issues okay before you can move forward completely but you've got some very positive cards there but it's going to be quite dramatic for you lot um sagittarians next week okay and then we've got oh dear like <laughs> is anybody else experiencing this dropping things is anyone else going through this where you're you i mean i'm a clumsy bugger anyway but, but this is more than usual um so it's like you know dropping things or you know falling over things it just feels as if it's like there's an energy wait i mean i dropped this three times i'm not going anywhere or doing anything how can i drop a card yeah so i just wanted to do anyone else has experienced this i saw my mum experience it as well okay so this is for leos um i've got to try and sleep now I've got to be up early to take my old neighbor to hospital then go care for my uncle catch you soon and thank you Alison. sweet dreams everyone oh sweet dreams sam sending you lots of love and support um sending lots of healing energy yeah it's uh it's difficult isn't it things seem to jump out of my hands it is true isn't it jamie it's it's like someone's taking it from you just i mean it's like you you've got it in your hand you feel it in your hand but then it's then on the floor or yeah i'm glad i'm not alone hmm. okay Oh, good night, Sam. Try and stay strong and be kind to yourself. Do something that you love to do as well. Make sure that you, you know, you know, it's, it's like um, we were doing readings earlier and um, <clears throat> Sharon, uh, Sharon Poe, she, she did a card and it was uh, take yourself on a date. I like that saying. So it, sometimes it's like we've got to, Go and do things or take yourself somewhere that you really love. So if you like walking in the woods, then go for a walk in the woods, even if it's just 10 minutes. Or, you know, wind your windows down and just drive through, you know, the, the you know, if there's, a, if there's a road through the woods, smell the woods. Um, just, yeah, it just seems to be, you know, there's a need to kind of get back to nature. Um, Jamie, absolutely, it happens in threes, just like you dropping the Leo card. Yeah, yeah, I dropped it three times, didn't I? Yeah. Mm. It's not me going mad or madder. <laughs> okay. Leos, 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 what's going on with you, Leos? Okay, so this reading is for Leos and it's the 21st to the 27th of June 2021. Lovely card to start with. So this feels as if there is money coming into your hands from lots of different directions. I can see it's kind of like, you know, well, this has turned up. Um, and if you've done the beaver technique, then this wouldn't be any surprise whatsoever because this is how the beaver technique works. You literally have money coming in from all different directions. You have opportunities and all sorts. So this here is where, you know, look out, look after it as it comes in, nurture it, expect money, expect there to be good things, um, good opportunities around you. Okay, so there's somebody around you um, who 
you're needing to be a bit more careful, a bit more private um, about what is really going on. OK, um, so, you know, when it's like this person is asking too many questions or I don't really trust this person, it's like maybe I'm just going to be a little bit more quiet. Just to me, um, rather than tell them everything, I'm just going to be um, a bit cagey. OK, so it feels as if you're just being a little bit. It's it's like um, safe. It's like safe. And it, this is verbally. Just I mean, I'm just going to cover my cover my ass. OK, I feel as though you are going into karma waters. OK, so there's been some. Rough waters it has been a bit difficult to get by to, to, to sort things out. It's been a little bit of an agro pie. Um, that was last week, but now things are getting clearer. I feel that you're going with um, the, the flow of, uh, of your life rather than trying to swim up, um, upstream. So trying to do something that just doesn't seem to be flowing right. There seems to be obstacle after obstacle. This is the universe saying, don't bother. It's not going to work out. You know, um, try something else. OK, so sometimes we have to be um, sensible and say, well, perhaps the timing's off. So I'll get on with something else and then come back to that later on. Um, it's usually the best way possible. OK, so um, that's what I feel is going on at the beginning of the week. Okay. By the middle of the week, middle of the week is you've got to be it's a sarcastic one. Um, stop saying you're going to do it and do it. OK, so if there's been something you've been promising. It's like it's time to to. Um, fulfill those promises. It's time for you to honour what it is that you've agreed to, co to complete the jobs that you say you're going to complete. Um, it's about it's about um, getting yourself motivated and organised and pushing yourself past your limits. Um, so that is how it's going to be, Leo, um, up, up until the um, the end of this week, I feel as if this is going to even even continue then. There's going to be lots of plans that are going to be starting now that are going to continue for the next um, few weeks. These, pro these projects are going to earn you money or they're going to bring you good fortune because this feels like, um, thank goodness I decided to do that. You know, this is what I've always wanted to do. Why haven't I done this sooner? I'm dealing with what I need to get organised um, in order to do that. So it could be that you are starting to, um, you know, write down the stepping stones that you need to do to get to that big goal. OK, there's money at your feet. So it does indicate that you've got security. You've got things that are absolutely um, going in your favour. You feel very grateful to have what you have in your life financially, emotionally, that might you might be saying to yourself, well, I haven't got much, but you have got more than than you realise. OK, when you look at other people, when you look at other people's, I'm just getting some energy from this lovely rose quartz uh, bracelet that I made. I'm wrapping off this, by the way. Anyway, so it feels as if it's like I'm taking that leap of faith and I know this is it. OK, this is linked with money but it's got a lot of emotions behind it. So uh, you've already done one leap of faith. There's going to be another one coming. Um, I feel as if it's like been two. I'm seeing, I'm seeing an urge. I felt as if it was last week. You might have uh, taken a leap of faith last week. This is another one coming up for you. Um, and this will be the middle of the week. Um, and uh, it, it's got links with emotions and with finances. So it's a mixture. Hi, Devon. Psychic ability, very, very strong psychic ability here. Watching that you are able to um, manifest what it is that you want or what you need. Um, it's also knowing that you are capable of achieving more in your, in your um, spiritual nature. For some reason, I want to say look into quantum physics. Now, 
I am not the brightest spark. Um, I firstly admit this, I'm not. But so you think to yourself, quantum physics, oh, it's far too, it's far too way out for me. Um, it, if I can understand some of it, then so can you. So quantum physics is where they are mixing um, scientific um, research with psychic abilities. Um, they found the God particle is what they say. So the double, I'll just tell you the double slit theory is where particles are, you'll understand what I'm saying in a minute <laughs> to do with this, right? Particles, when they were doing the experiment, particles were um, fired from this kind of um, gun thing. And uh, it's like paint. It's like little, bit, little bits of paint. And this was going through one slit. There was one slit and they were firing it and it created um, a, a straight line of paint down the wall. They then put two slits in and did the same thing. And they were kind of knocking into each other, but they were still creating the kind of very, it's like um, a similar pattern twice, okay. And then they did it, they did the same thing, but nobody was watching. The particles did something completely different. That means that there is some other, some other things that are going on in this universe that it goes beyond. Um, so it was like things happen when we're watching them and when we're not watching them, other things happen. So this was it. Um, so. Well, I think that there's somebody who's going to be talking about quantum physics. I've talked about it once, but you know, when you get it in threes, don't be surprised if there's not something going on where someone else will talk about quantum physics or something else will come up. Now, I watched, um, there's a, who's, what's his name? Oh, it's, a, it's a black guy, got a most, it's got like a delicious voice. He's a really famous actor. Hoping he's not one of the horrible ones. What's his name? What's his name? It's not Denzel Washington. It's not Morgan. Morgan Freeman is the narrator. Okay, and uh, he talks through it. So it's there's lots of them, and they're free on YouTube. It's called Down the Rabbit Hole, and there's about there's loads of them. Anyway, it's about this. Uh, they talk about quantum physics and they talk about this um, deaf girl and uh, it's a story of her and it's like going through different experiments and, and what she's experiencing. I don't know, something in quantum physics, especially, I think this is for everybody. Look into quantum physics this week because I think that there's something that we need to know um, and this is going to be spoken of or going to be out there, okay, to do with quantum physics. Crazy as that seems. Um, okay, the psychic ability, strong, very, very strong, your psychic ability, it's going to be shining and you're going to be seeing it, you're going to be experiencing it, you're going to be doing it, you're going to be living it, your psychic ability. It's like a challenge that you are doing, okay, and you're going to be fired up for it, you're going to have so much confidence. It is a confidence bringer. When you, if you are not a confident person and you're not developing yourself psychically and you've got an interest in your psychic ability then you are missing out okay of instant feeling better because part of you inside is crying out for I need to um, be introduced to my other self okay my deeper side and your deeper side is your psychic ability so what else is out there okay sometimes we're looking at you know, our four walls and we're thinking, well, this is all right, but I'm ready for an adventure. I'm ready for something more. So there's def definitely going to be some plans um, and something happening uh, um, around this time. OK, so this will be the end of next week. So your inner child and your um, excitement of, of wanting more is coming um, and it's going to be shining so bright you won't be able to stop. Okay, so we go. So that's the fire signs, everyone. So we're going to be doing the earth signs now. Taurus. 
So Taurus energy. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's go in with you. So 21st through to the 27th of June, 2021. Beginning of the week, you're going to be, for some of you, there's going to be a sharp tongued person around you, somebody who's going to be a little bit um, too sharp tongued, a little bit too blunt. Okay, you're not going to enjoy this energy coming from this person. For other people, it could be that you are then saying something, it could be that you're experiencing this sharp tongue from someone else and you're giving them some back or you started it because this person has been driving you nuts and they ask you the wrong, the right, the wrong question at the wrong time. Just a minute, it's like, right, I'll tell you what I think then. You know, so there's going to be a little bit of that. So I'm seeing outspokenness um, at this time, the um, beginning of next week. The wheel is all about things moving forward, things moving on. And this feels as if there is so, um, it's so strong the universe is saying, you know, feel this, pre feel, feel the move forward. It's like the whole world, this is a kind of a global prediction here, the whole world is going to be going through a massive shift. And this will be the end of, um, sorry, the beginning of next week. So everybody will feel it, everybody will feel the shift. Um, it's a bit like, um, we need to keep an eye on the Schumann resonance. If you know what the Schumann resonance is, then um, look, put that in the uh, search engine and you'll see it's pretty gobsmacking. It's basically the Earth's um, um, energy. It's like the heartbeat of Mother Earth. And you can see kind of the an energy goes up and peaks and it, it lulls down again. Um, and sometimes it blacks out or whites out. Um, and this is where lots of things are happening. So I feel this is time for you to um, honour yourself, honour your own emotions, honour your true feelings. OK, sometimes that means that we have to be outspoken and we have to be blunt. And sometimes, you know, because somebody's been blunt with us, then maybe we need to work out, is this person somebody who I want to be around? Um, is this person, you know, a good enough friend? You know, that sort of thing. So I think there's some big changes going on um, and it's going to make us make some um, decisions. So the middle of the middle of this next week uh, for Taurians, um, Taurus energy, I'm seeing study, learning and development around you. Hi, Elizabeth. So I'm seeing study, learning and development around. I'm seeing moving forward because it feels as if it's like rushing, rushing, rushing. Um, We've got the looking at things in black and white, weighing things up, processing information that you have got. And I feel I want to say new information that you have or that you will have. Um, there is a research energy. You're doing lots and lots of research, looking into things, um, finding out more and more. Um, there is somebody who's a little bit of a perfectionist. So this could be you, could be somebody close to you. This person who's got this perfection energy, they're trying very hard um, to get everything exactly perfectly right. That isn't something that is an easy task to do. Sometimes, especially when it comes to research, you're not going to get everything you want to, but you're not. Um, and I feel that there's something about the, it's like there's a subject that has bugged you that you need to find out more about. Um, and it's linking to uh, your life, but it's also got a global implication as well to it. So um, there's, it's like, uh, I also feel as if for those people who are very spiritual around this time, and um, this is their birth sign, so Taurus, Taurus um, I'm seeing that there will be um, channelers, people bringing through information from our galactic energies. So I'm seeing a lot of that and they're going to be channeled through and don't be surprised if it's not channeled through 
um, to the Taurus, um, Taurus characters. It's like they're able to be practical, but they are forward thinkers as well. Um, so, and they sometimes don't get too cluttered in their mind uh, with things that are not, not of interest. It's like they can be, do you know what I mean? It's like, well, why should I worry about that? Is it no point, you know? So it means that their mind is more clear and able to receive these messages. Mm -hmm. By the end of the week for uh, Taurians, um, you've decided to let go and say enough is enough. I feel this is linked with an emotional matter. So this could be somebody in the in the, a family. This can be somebody who you care about very much, um, but you've decided I can't do this anymore. You've tried to see things from their side of um, of life. You've tried to understand them, but there is only a certain amount of understanding and um, and holding your feelings back so that they don't get uncomfortable. So you, you can't keep doing this. So I do feel as if you are uh, having to make these decisions, you do feel as though um, you are tormented by this emotions. I'm seeing this isn't an easy decision, but this is all going to be coming about. And this will be a, by the end of uh, next week. Sometimes it's a relief when we've made the decision. Uh, sometimes we've known that we've needed to make this decision for uh, for a long time. Um, and now it's like it's here and in front of us. Okay. So now we're going to go on to Virgos. Okay. Virgos, Virgos. I have to keep saying the uh, time frames because um, that's how my guides kind of work. So 21st through to the 27th of June, 2021. Okay, so we have the um, letting go. Okay, this to me is a very strong feeling of, no, what are you doing? I hope he hasn't brought a bird in again. <laughs> really, too. He's growling. He keeps bringing in birds. He keeps bringing in mice, live ones usually, and then just drops them and then they scarper. And then I find them later on around the house. It's, it's like, <sighs> anyway, cats, I love them, but they are, you know, that, that's the part of them I don't like. So, anyway, sorry about this. Um, so, this is Virgo. <laughs> There goes, it's all about kind of trips, okay? And I'm seeing uh, travel plans. Um, I feel as if they'll be talking about moving. So somebody around you is gonna be talking about moving or changing of location to do with jobs because this feels as if it's like, I feel un, uneasy where I am or not settled where I am. And then this is going, um, you know, this needs to be sorted out or this needs to be kind of um, planned out. I do feel as if there's a good energy around this. We've got the world card. Um, so I've now got the cosmic deck I'm working with. So the world card is basically saying that things are gonna turn out brilliantly. Uh, you've got nothing to worry about, it's all good. Um, and this is linked with kind of the strong feeling of making decisions to do with, you know, uprooting yourself or somebody close to you uprooting themselves and moving on, okay, um, onto a different, different, um, pathway okay so there's going to be a lot of big changes happening around you Virgos it's like um, as one door closes another door opens so to speak um, I'm seeing study around you or study around uh, somebody close to you uh, it can be again research but I really want to go with for some of you it might be research but I think I'm picking up on education there seems to be a perfection energy around um, you or around somebody that you care about. Um, this perfection energy is putting so much pressure on them or on you that you really nearly say, I'm done, I can't do this anymore, because it does feel as if it's, it's just all too much. Um, the new beginnings energy 
uh, could be where you um, have, have come to that conclusion that you've had enough and you have to let go and walk away. Um, and if you do that, this will feel as if, um, you know, there could there, basically there's not a bad way of dealing with this um, because you've got the world card in amongst all of this. Just I mean, you've got the world card. OK, so this is linked around education, learning, development or teaching. It's linked around the perfection energy and it's linked around endings and beginnings, rerouting and changes. OK, so it's very, very strong cards I'm seeing here. They're being very um, um, set. OK, and, uh, and bold. It's kind of like a bold energy, uh, this. So you're looking at things in black and white and you're deciding which way you're gonna go. Okay, so it's like, um, I'm feeling like a military feel around this where you're kind of blinkered and it's like, right, we found out this information, this information, this information. So therefore we've got to detach from that and we've got to go down this line. And it's like, okay, we'll all do that together. And, and that's kind of the feeling that I get is, is like a strong feeling of, um, you know, marching forward, you know, getting the troops together um, not not letting um, go of the end result or the end plan, okay? But it does feel as if emotionally we've got to isolate our emotions um, and save them, okay, for, uh, you know, for another time. It's like I can't be emotional about it. I've got to keep going, okay? It's all to do with kind of the, um, you know, having to adapt to a do, new way of living or a new, um, it's like, I wanna say new plan, okay? Um, there, it's like you're looking at a long-term plan and you're doing everything that you have to do now so that that plan has got stability for the future. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Ah, oh, so back within two fire signs, says Vera, it's raining, finally a heat relief. Oh, that's good. We had our storm, we had a couple of good days and then storm, and um, then it's been raining ever since. Bit of a bummer. <laughs> um, it's England though, isn't it? So, okay. So that was Virgo. So I'm now gonna do Capricorn. I think my brother is Capricorn, although he, it could be Aquarius Capricorn um, with my brother, um, or one of my brothers, Jake Capricorn. Okay. Right, so let's have a look and see what's happening with Capricorns this week, 21st to the 27th of June, 2021. Okay, so they're showing me some keys. They're showing me um, changes at home and a chance of breaking free. So it's like I am free to go where I want or to do what I want or to make decisions of my own kind of, um, you know, freeing up my mind. That's what it feels like. So I feel that there is at the very least DIY or changes to your home. Hi, Julie. Hello. You must be waking up, I think. Uh, what's the time there with you? Yeah, so this is to do with moving or decorating or DIY or chaotic energy in the house. We've then got keys and a property. We've got um, new beginnings to do with uh, properties and home and plans and looking um, at your situation in a very favourable way. So it's about feeling richer than you have previously felt. It's about 
kind of having these opportunities that are really um, in front of you that you are ready to break free from the confines that you felt that you're in going over to this new um, energy okay and uh, making new plans new alliances um, so you're unshackling yourself from a burden a restriction either set by yourself or from someone else there is somebody from your past that's the beginning of the week there's somebody from your past entering your life by the middle of next week now this person they come to you there doesn't seem to be much in the way of um, either financial um, a financial situation so it could be that they haven't got any money or that they have overspent or there seems to be something that is on their mind um, I feel that there is a strong energy of perfection energy so you know when you expect differently um, either from them or it's like um, I knew that you would do this or you would come back when you had no money um, and you expect me to help you out so that's what it's going to be like for some of you uh, for others of you, we can say that there's somebody from your past um, entering your life. And I feel that they need some help and support at this particular time, um, especially when it comes to money. OK, now, um, I don't know if this is you um, getting annoyed about the money situation or whether or not this is just it's like, well, that's how it is. For some of you, I think you're going to handle it differently. Um, each person's going to handle it differently. OK, so I'm seeing some forms, documents, paperwork. OK, um, this feels as if it's a plan to go forward with something that you've always wanted to do. Um, but it's all about preparation and planning. Um, it's all about kind of making sure that you have everything ready. OK, so that this makes it easy. There seems to be a tearful person around you at the end of next week. Uh, this person feels rejected or they feel as though other people don't really care about their feelings, don't really uh, want them to be happy. It could be that they are just feeling sorry for themselves or it could be that you understand that they are making a point. Maybe it's not you that's treating them like that, but it could be someone else um, and you are kind of noticing uh, this behavior. I feel that spirit are going to be very much around you, Capricorns. Um, spirit are going to be there for you. They're going to be um, supporting you. So please, please, please ask them for help. We can say this about the same, um, about kind of for everybody. You know, if you feel as if you need more help, then please ask them because they can't interfere unless you do ask them. Okay. You've also got strong psychic ability, Capricorns. Uh, this is going to shine very brightly, especially around this time. Okay, so that's Capricorns. Vera says Sun, Aries, Moon, Aquarius, Ascendant, Taurus, MC, Capricorn. You've got a lot to listen to. You do. You do, you do. Okay, so we're going to finish off with the water signs. Okay, so we're going to go Scorpio, Pisces, and then Cancerians. Scorpio. That's okay, Deborah. Probably why I'm not a standard Aries personality. No, you're not a, a standard per, um, Aries, Vera. Not from what I know. Yeah. Okay. Right, so let's have a look and see what's going on for Scorpios. Scorpio is my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, she's just had the baby. 
Um, I was cuddling the baby today. It's so sweet. And playing with little Olivia. Olivia's two. Um, so, yeah, it's been lovely. So we were playing Lego today, me and Olivia. Uh, so that was cute. And hide and seek as well. So um, that was that was with Olivia. And then for, for my family, we've got my mum and me who are Pisces. And then Cancerian is my lovely daughter, Megan. Um, and she's got three uh, wonderful children. She's got Logan, she's got Isla, and she's got Hallie. So, oh my God, I haven't seen him for, um, it feels ages, but it is a week or so, but it just, it's just unlike us to not be, to, be together. So I really need, I'm craving to be um, around them all. So I've got to arrange to go and see them um, Tuesday, hopefully. So. so, okay, let's concentrate on Scorpios. Okay, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, so I'm having to make some very tricky choices. Okay. So yeah, tricky, tricky um, choices. There is so much to do and there's a feeling of being tormented by your emotions, tormented by your fears, um, having to make, um, it's like trying not to upset anyone and feeling as though no matter what you do, you're gonna upset someone um, or it's gonna come across as a certain way if you decide this. So there is a little bit of kind of, you know, this is doing my head in, you know, I've got to make some choices and some decisions, but I am, you know, eternally stuck right now. Um, it does indicate that there is um, a, a feeling of being drained. It's like I'm drained by the situation and I need help to get out of this. There is somebody around who might be suffering from either depression or feeling low or feeling as though, you know, they are, they've got worries on their shoulders. It's like um, I'm tormented by these feelings and these emotions. Um, I don't need this to um, affect me any more than it has. So what, which way am I going to go with it? So it is quite a heavy start to the week, but by the middle of the week, you've made the decisions, you've understood what needs to be done. Um, it is the least amount of, of upset for everybody. In fact, I don't think you're going to upset a single one. OK, and this is because of careful handling um, and careful discussions with everybody concerned. I feel that there is um, a lot more of control within you than you realise that you are a born leader and a born organiser, even though you don't feel it at times. But I am seeing this and I'm seeing that you're also very stubborn. And if you say that you're going to go somewhere or do something, um, you're going to do it. OK, so it does indicate kind of like a, um, a progress on a job or a situation to do with a job. And you've been mapping it and sorting it out as you go along. Um, for those of you that are not working, then this will be a project that you will be mapping and sorting out, okay? It's like I'm seeing stepping stones up to the end result. It feels as if it's very dynamic and very um, forward thinking, okay? So this is this is a little bit unlike a, a, a normal uh, Scorpio because Scorpios tend to kind of, uh, they're emotional creatures, do you see what I mean? But this to me feels a very practical energy. So, um, you know, for a lot of you, it could be that I'm picking up on that there is a Virgo energy in your, or an earthly energy at least, in your um, in your charts, okay? Because it feels very, very strong, okay? Very, very strong. Um, I can see that there are keys around you. So there's something to do with property. There's something to do with keys. Um, there's kind of endings and beginnings. Now... This card, I don't think you can see it very well, but there is a key in her hand there. 
Now I've had these cards for 20 years, something like that. And it was only when uh, somebody who I was teaching said, there's she's holding a key. Um, so yeah, that was uh, quite interesting because there's, there's always new stuff that you're seeing. Okay, so she's holding a key. There's a house and a property in the background there. There's a car here and she's feeling very abundant. Okay, so lots of abundant energy. So it could feel that it starts off with a little bit of worry, having to make a very big decision. By the middle of this uh, week, next week, it's like you've made the decision. And by the end of the week, it's all the practical things that go ahead with making that decision. So I think it's going to be taken up with one main issue, okay, with you girl, guys. Um, and it is all to do with life-changing uh, situations. That will start out. Make sure that you've got a plan B when you rely on anyone else. So it's like someone says that they're going to do this for you. Uh, make sure that you've got a plan B. So, um, you know, teach yourself uh, what needs to happen. Uh, so if they don't turn up or if they can't help you, at least you're not kind of um, running around in the dark trying to understand uh, what needs to happen next. OK. So we've got Pisces now. This is my birth sign. OK, so Pisces, Pisces, let's have a look. Pisces. Right, beginning of next week. Okay, so you've got very feisty energy um, the beginning of next week. Um, there's a lot of kind of fire around. I am seeing um, having to hold back your frustrations or hold back your uh, temper. Um, there is also, um, you know, I mean, these cards, I could show you these cards. So imagine kind of the, the lion energy where they can roar. Um, look at these kind of, um, so this one looks as if it's being held back. It's kind of got some, uh, it's behind the wands. And then here you've got the kind of lion energy and it's shielded, just so I mean, so you've got the shield there, um, but there's still very vibrant energies. So, um, and then you've got the Sagittarius energy, uh, which is, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing, don't stop me. You know, so you can see how feisty the energy is here. So there's sheer determination, there is obstacles in the way, but it's like there's a bulldozer energy um, of getting through it and not being held back or somebody not telling you, somebody telling you no, it's like uh, not gonna, that's not gonna work with me, that's not gonna fly with me. Um, so you better um, think again, just I mean, so it's really uh, strong. There's links again with keys and a property. There's links again with moving um, and changes to do with the home base. Um, I'm seeing everything coming to fruition everything coming ripe okay and so you may find out if you want to move you may find out that you've got the opportunity to move if you don't want to move then there's an opportunity of making your home better or setting some improvements um, around okay so there's some strong strong energies there the end of next week um, for Pisces um, you've got two characters who are young in energy, okay? So they can be quite immature. Here he comes again. Um, quite immature, but the, um, the energy with them is that they've got something to teach you. So this may not seem as though they're being taken, you know, you. it's like, why should I take these people seriously? Um, but they will be, they'll be teaching you something. And I feel, I feel very strong about um, it being about money. It's about spending money. It's about money. It's about opportunities to do with money. Okay. Uh, it could be work, but I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, cats, don't you love them? So he just wants to get in on it all. 
Yeah, so it feels as though there these two characters, one character is a very emotional character. It's a very, it's a person who, you know, whatever they're doing, they have to kind of um, feel everything, uh, do everything, experience this or that. Um, and they love a bit of a drama, okay. You've then got another person who doesn't like drama, but they can be very um, opinionated. They can be, they want everything perfect. They can be judgmental and they can sometimes drive the other person um, mad. Okay, so yeah, two characters here, uh, both young characters, and there is a lots of lessons to be learned about money. Um, it could be you're teaching them about money um, and, and uh, you know, helping them to understand what it's all about. Okay, so that's a bit of a mystery, but you know, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so that's um, just doing this down. Is it flicks and flings over me? That's it, lovely. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So this is Mo. This is Mo. And what's the sweetie? I've got no more sweeties actually. Mo Mo. I've only got these. Let's see what I've got. You want these? Yeah. Okay. okay, so the last one, we're going to do Cancerian now. So this is Cancerian. So this is my daughter, Megan. <gasps> He's just dropped all the treats all over the floor. <laughs> I'm going to pick them up in a minute. They're down on the floor, darling. You've got to eat them down there, look. Look. Ow, ow, claws. Don't you know she's actually got skin? Okay, Cancerians, let's have a look. Okay. Cancerians for the 21st through to the 27th of June. Beginning of next week for Cancerians. Okay, something is telling you um, that you're being overcharged or that there's something not quite right about a financial transaction. Um, it's basically if, if things aren't happening, okay, to do with this, then you're needing to probably um, look into protection, look into making sure that you're not being a bit too flippant regarding your safety of, of your debit cards or, you know, bank accounts, that sort of thing. So it's, it's all to do with kind of covering your ass, okay? And um, it's like human error. So it's not anything that is out of your hands. It's something that you can do, uh, you, you can do to stop it, okay? And this is by kind of saying to your guides, come on, Guides, we need to, you know, you need to step up and make sure that we are protected and make sure that everything is okay. Um, this is definitely kind of a more of a, a spiritual feeling, like a, a being nagged at feeling. There seems to be, um, it's like looking into a bill or looking into being overcharged. Um, that is the biggest message I've got for you at the beginning of this um, next week. Okay, so that will be near the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, something like that. So 24th to 25th, we've got, okay, so there is a spoilt character around you. Um, this character is acting like it's, it, this is about me, me and me. Um, they are trying to get everything done for themselves. They are being spoilt, selfish or stubborn. Now, we can all be spoiled, selfish or stubborn, and it's OK. Um, you know, it doesn't make us a bad person. It just sometimes means that we, you know, have to learn lessons in a quick way. OK, um, there, there is a temperance card, which means that you are trying to be fair. and You're trying to be helpful 
and you try not to let this person feel bad um, at the same time you're kind of calling them out and saying you know this is not for you to decide or you know this is not all about you we've got others to think about so there is a it is to do with trickiness there may have links with holidays traveling going somewhere but it is about basically the, the fairness of you know weighing up the pros and the cons to a, um, a decision that involves a spoilt or, or a spoilt character or a character who is expecting everything done for them or in their way. Emotionally, it does indicate that you will be drained by this. This won't be an easy decision or an easy situation. Okay, some it's like this person has put you in a very delicate um, battle of wills. Okay, that's what it feels like. This person is used to getting their way and they can be very, um, a very difficult character. They've always got something that they want to say. An answer for everything, I think they say it. Okay, so towards the end of this next week, the end of this next week, there is um, a, it's like secrets or being private. So it's about, uh, for some of you, it'll be about keeping keeping things to yourself and not revealing too much to this person. It can be about you, I don't know, just being more, it, you know when you can, you can kind of, I don't even like the saying, so I'm not going to say the saying, but you know when sometimes you can um, hit two things or do two things uh, with one, with one call or you know, it's like, well, I've pro uh, that problem is sorted out because I've sorted out that one. Um, or that one and that one are connected. So if I make that decision, then it's helping both. So it's all to do with kind of both energies, both both situations. Oh, I've just seen it. Hi, Sarah Randall. But I haven't seen Sarah Randall come up on the chat. Sometimes it does this and you, you don't see people. And other people mention them, but it doesn't come up in the chat. That's really bizarre. So hi, Sarah. How are you doing? I watched that video that you put on. It was really weird. And at the end of it, it was, yeah, yeah. I can see exactly. Uh, Greg played it for me at the end because I never watched it to the end. Uh, but then when Greg played it till the end, anyway. Um, I'm hoping it's been taken down off uh, Facebook. Hoping there was a, a disturbing video. It was based for children and trying to say the safety of children uh, from, you know, predators and things like that. But it was very inappropriate at the same time. Oh, I see. That's what's happened. I gotcha. Okay, so there's an element of boredom and restlessness, okay, going on at the end um, of the week for Cancerians. A bit like I'm ready for a challenge, you know, perhaps I've just completed one thing and I just want to get on with something else now. Um, I do feel as if there's an element of, of um, being careful about what you've revealed or careful about what you're doing. And I feel that this is linked around that project, that uh, person that I was picking up at the middle of, of the week. It's like handling this situation in a very delicate manner, sometimes not even, um, you know, when you're not even addressing it at all, but you're aware of it and it's going on in the background. So it's like, I know this person might be watching our next move. So this is what we need to do. Okay, so it's something like that. Um, and by the, like I said, by the end of the week, there's a little bit of come and then bring it on. I'm ready for a challenge. And this is to do with a project that you want to do, something that you're excited about. There's also the high priestess energy, which is about, um, you know, when sometimes we've got to be private, keep things back from, hold, hold things away, you know, something to do with being more careful um, on information that you're giving out or that could could potentially um, show someone that you don't want to show what the truth is. This is a very difficult situation. I'm seeing 
a complex situation where you are having to be private or hold back um, from allowing this particular person to know too much about what you're doing or what you're planning. And this is because you don't want to be involved in a dramatic uh, situation or to upset the situation worse than it is, um, in which case you've got to then be private and you've got to think ahead all the time. I do think it's going to get to the stage of being um, outspoken. So no matter how much you're trying to hold things back and not do this, I think it's inev inevitable that it will, okay, turn into this because then I'm seeing being very uh, clear and outspoken and I'm going to tell you what I think okay um, we've then got I'm then going to stand my ground so whether you think I'm right or wrong by what I think it doesn't matter because I'm not going to change my mind because this is how I feel um, I then see that there will be a case of not um, you know when you don't talk to each other or you communicate very very little anymore um i think this is just a temporary thing or you know i'm not seeing anything but yeah there's something linked around that okay so it's like i'm holding back or I'm not saying anything more you know i've got nothing more to say so um i'm gonna finish it there okay so that's all the birth signs and this is this has been for the 21st through to the 27th of june 2021 i hope you enjoyed them like I said, I've got the raffle going. So if you wanted to find out more about um, the raffle prizes, um, go to the beginning of the video. If you wanted me to pick you any numbers, the best idea is to message me and say that can you randomly pick um, these numbers, you know, or try try out because um, there's people that are adding their, num their names to this raffle um, and uh, Sometimes they don't know that these numbers are gone. Okay, so it's difficult. So just quickly, the raffle prizes are um, a choice of this, which I made. Um, and it's got all of the kind of stars. And it's got kind of the astrology dates and the kind of pagan uh, festivals and things as well around it okay so this is for raffle it isn't perfect because it had different just to I mean it it's where the resin didn't um sit right when it was um so i'm just learning my resin okay but um you can't see it from there if you wanted to hang it on your wall it's nice so um that's one of the choices the other one is a black crystal ball okay it's a black obsidian crystal ball it is the Light Seers Tarot. Okay, so there's going to be two main prizes. So you would pick one of these. Okay, so um, Light Seers Tarot. These are the tarot cards that I'm using here. Okay, um, there is runes. There are black runes with gold, or there are silver ones with black. Okay, um, what's the other prize? Uh, the red, this one, the red um, rose quartz, sorry, the ro rose quartz uh, neck, uh, bracelet. Okay, so they're the choices. And there'll be two main uh, choices, two main winners, and there'll be two mystery gifts as well. So two and two. Okay, and um, yeah, so if you wanted to uh, join that raffle, um, it is a pound a go. Um, or it is um, outside the UK, it's $2. So that just helps with the post and packaging if it's outside. So these are the prizes. Um, and you basically, the first person would pick what it is that they want. Okay, all the runes, the rose quartz bracelet. So yeah. Um, I saw you doing your crochet the other night. Um, Sarah, what are you crocheting? So these are the numbers that are left at the moment. Okay, so if anybody wants to have a go, please let me know. Um, so it's a pound a go. 
and you can pay via PayPal, which is guiding, that is G-U-I-D-I-N-G angels at btinternet.com. And um, I'm just seeing it's being typed out as I see it. Yeah, so you can go there and you can pay the money there or you can go to the website, which is psychicalley.net. Psychic is spelt P-S-Y-C-H-I-C. -I, I know that sounds crazy, but it's a very weird spelling. Uh, Psychicalley, A-L-L-Y.net. Okay. I'm uh, finishing up my toddler blanket for my great niece. Her first birthday is next month. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm in agony and I've got to go and I've, I'm still supposed to do a reading, but um, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's been a very busy day, so I might have to do it tomorrow. Okay, um, take care, everybody. And... Um, love you all. Love you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, take care. Have a good week. If I don't see you, it's Circle tomorrow. So if anybody wants to join in with the Psychic Development Group, you're welcome to. It is five pounds, which works out around seven dollars. And I will put the link up um, for you if you are interested. In fact, I won't put the link up because we've had a lot of uh, uh, perhaps basically turning up. So in the, uh, they've just been kind of turning up there. Um, so you can always send me a message, an inbox message, if you are interested, and I'll send you the Zoom link. Okay, um, take care, everyone, and right for now. Bye.